Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help. So I'm pretty excited today because I received a product for review purposes and I have not seen anyone else review this product on YouTube yet. So hopefully this is your first look at this product. Now um, this is considered a, a car DVR, kind of a black box for when you're driving. And um, the nice feature of this is that it uses an SD card, it is high definition, and it has cycled recording. So you basically put a DV card or a SD card in here for recording, and you can set it for 5, 10, or 15 minutes. And every 10 minutes, it starts a new video clip. <clears throat> and then when it gets to the end of the memory in this unit, it cycles over and starts recording over the first clip. So you can run this pretty much 24 hours a day. And then if you ever have an accident or you think you've caught something on film, you just simply pop the card out, stick it in your computer, and you have your video. So, ooh, I like this. This is a very nice low-profile design. So um, instead of having this big arm sticking down on your window, you can have a nice, uh, nice tight little design unit. So basically, you stick this on your windshield like that. Now this does have a flip down LCD screen for this and we have our functions on the side uh, up, down, mode, USB, power and we have HDMI output although it did not come with an HDMI cable um, that's pretty standard size so you can use just about any HDMI cable you have power on and off menu and then your record or snapshot function Got it. So, and right there is where your SD card goes uh, did not come with an SD card, um, although I did purchase one, an 8 gig, on the internet. So let's. Okay, the card faces uh, with the prongs sticking up, so face down basically. And just pops into there, pops right back out when you're done. This does have a wide angle, kind of a fisheye lens on it. Uh, when you're far further away from a subject, it, you don't notice it as much, but if you get kind of close up on something, then you notice that it goes into a fisheye perspective there, especially when you're pretty close up on items. Let me see if I can demonstrate this with my hand. So everything looks pretty straight, but as you come up closer to the object, you see how my hand kind of rounds off there a little bit. So that is a fisheye, which is good because it's going to capture more uh, visual area when recording. Uh, you use the up and down keys and then the uh, record snap key to select your functions over here. So first off, let's go down. Um, we have our size perspective which can be changed from 1280 to 720 all the way down to 640 by 480. So we have uh, volume control for the overall unit and if you want to change that then you simply hit the little menu button there and it allows you to make the modification. You can choose your language, which is currently English. You can set the date and the, t um, the time. Set the clock on there. Uh, you can format the card while it's actually inside of the unit there. And uh, you have a system reset in case it ever crashes on you. You can reset the whole thing. And uh, light frequency, which I have not kind of checked out yet. Um, I'll get into that here in just a moment, maybe. Um, we do have a timestamp. You can put a timestamp on or off of your videos if you need uh, to use it for evidence or anything like that. And then you have the version number listed down here. So that pretty much covers the actual menu functionality of this unit. And when you're done, if you click the menu button again, it goes back into its recording mode. Now, over here on the mode side, if you click this button while you're in your video mode, it'll switch to snapshot. So you can take uh, snapshots just by simply clicking the record button here on the side. Now if you click the mode button again, it's going to go into playback, but since there are currently no files, it's not going to show me anything. Click the mode button again, and it goes back into its recording mode. So um, we have a USB connector on the side, we have the DC power adapter for the car. Um, well, once again, like I said, the HDMI, the on and off button. and um, so um, that pretty much covers some of the features, uh, basic features, and the menu structure of this little system. Uh, just so you can get a good overall look at the camera here. So I'm going to go out and shoot some test uh, driving test footage and we'll see what it looks like. Okay guys, so we're out in the car now and we're going to mount this unit and plug it in and see what we're working with. So I've got my unit face like that with the LCD facing backwards. 
And let's see, I'll pop it on about right here. Just on the middle of the windshield there. Suction it up there, flip the clip. Nice firm grip on the unit there. Go ahead and flip down the little LCD here. And normally you would want this mounted higher um, up into your windshield area, so it's kind of out of sight. So normally mine will be mounted uh, parallel with the rear view mirror, so it's out of sight. So um, I'll be able to flip the uh, LCD down just below my mirror and have the functionality of the controls and everything. So I'm gonna plug in the power adapter here. Plug it in, and when I turn the car on, this unit should automatically start. Now there's a little adjustment knob up here so you can kind of straighten the unit, balance it out if you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my car up here. Okay, this unit does automatically get on here and it's automatically recording. Not sure if you can see in the little, uh, let me zoom in here. So you can see right there that the automatic record button is activated. So um, I'm gonna switch over to the actual video of this and do a little commentary and talk to you guys while I'm driving. So let's see what this thing's got. So we're on the actual camera now. So we can test for the audio levels with the windows down and the windows up and all that good jazz. Test with that as well to see how that's uh, how it varies. But I'll do that on the way back. see the fisheye, um, it does have the fisheye kind of look to it, which is good. Um, it kind of distorts the video a little bit, but um, it also covers a much wider area on the front of your car. Um, looking at the video from the angle that I'm driving at right now, it looks kind of dark, so uh, I'll have to check to see if there's a way to adjust the brightness. I'm not sure how it looks on the video side of that. I um, also wanted to test the mic out. When I did a test with my Mini DV MD80, the audio gets washed out completely if my window is down. So that's, um, if it gets washed out in this video, then I'll have to do a vocal commentary. Um, over, do a voice overdub on this. God, you ever notice how there's too many commercials on the radio? Should have brought my iPod. Okay, so I'm going to turn the corner here, and I'm going to set the light mode for the other setting, and uh, we'll see what we've got going on with it here. Okay guys, so the actual video footage pretty much speaks for itself. You can see the quality and everything. This does have uh, a really good quality video as far as um, it's a lot better than I expected for a car monitoring system. So on the overall scale of things, I'm going to have to give this product a 9 out of 10 because it does have a lot of functionality, it has really good quality, and the audio sounds good as well. So um, there you have it, a first look at the HD720P Car DVR Black Box Video Recorder. So I uh, hope this review helped you guys out. If it did, please post a comment. If not, Pogue Mahone, and as usual, thanks for watching Frank's Tech Help.